More now on our top story, the recent terror attacks in France. And joining me from Paris is CNN reporter Arwa Damon. Arwa Damon, thank you very much for your time on First Edition. French police are saying they're still hunting up to six members of the terror cell which carried out the attacks. Well, that is what the Associated Press uh, was reporting. However, according to spokesmen, uh, both for the prosecutor's office and for the other authorities that, that CNN spoke to, they were quite surprised by that report. In fact, one police source telling uh, CNN that there's a difference between looking for an individual that may be directly associated with the attack and looking uh, for people that might be able to provide them with more information as to what took place, associates perhaps of the three gunmen, but not individuals that were necessarily directly linked to what took place. So there's still a lot of questions uh, at this stage, more questions than there are answers. In fact, remember the fourth suspect, Amélie Koulibaly's believed associate, initially thought to be a woman by the name of Hayat Boumedin. She then, we found out, in fact, traveled to Turkey on January 2nd, despite the fact that the French had said that she was on scene during the attacks that took place in Paris. Was there another associate on the ground alongside Koulibaly? French authorities now trying to determine that as well. Meanwhile, this is still a country on high alert, very tense. The French have deployed around 10,000 troops, thousands more police to try to beef up security, especially around what they're calling sensitive sites, uh, Jewish institutions, schools, and remember the Muslim community as well. Mosques also have been targeted with no casualties, but they have been targeted over the last few days as well. Oh, well Damon, in Paris, thank you.